Rebel Ridge is directed by Jeremy Saunier and stars Aaron Peer, Don Johnson, and among others. And this story deals with a former Marine that is trying to bail out his cousin from jail after some stuff goes down. And he pretty much has a run-in with some corrupt police officer, police along the way. And it kind of starts out a little bit like First Blood with a veteran pretty much getting into some trouble with the cops that are in town and along the way he ends up trying to bail out his cousin but also deal with a lot of the corruption that's dealing with the town with that's he's dealing with a lot of the corruption with the cops and everything now here's a little backstory now this movie was directed by Jeremy Saunier who I have heard a little bit about um, I've only seen one of his other films that he did before this one which uh, was called Green Room which I really enjoyed I do need to check out some of his other films like uh, Blue Ruin that I remember that I heard a lot of good things about in his last uh, most recent film that came out a few years ago. Um, so there's more of his that I definitely want to check out, but this is one of those movies that I went into it just kind of open minded because from the trailers I thought it was just going to be like a more like a first blood type of knockoff and and kind of mix in with some more stuff that we see with a lot of these movies after movies that deal with the whole police corruption stuff. So didn't think it was really going to be anything new. Um, going into it, but after giving it a chance and finally sitting down and watching it, I thought myself really actually surprised by this one. It has some little issues here and there that that do hold it back from being great, but I still think it was or I do I still thought it really was entertaining, and it really showcased a lot of uh, this new cover that comes in the, in the movie, and it showcased and it really uh, was a good t time with being able to tell a, a very straightforward story that. Uh, for the most part, works to its advantage, especially if it's lead actor uh, Aaron Peer. But to get my pros out of the way, I thought the cast in this were all fantastic. I thought Aaron Peer, um, I thought this was definitely a breakthrough performance for him, being on the action department and also a lot of the stuff that he goes through with trying to, you know, get through a lot of the this crazy stuff that happens with the corruption, with the cops and everything. I thought he really worked well, especially with his camaraderie that happens with Don Johnson in this, who I've always liked as an actor, and to this day, I still haven't seen Miami Vice that much, but I do want to fully check it out one of these days, or at least watch watch it one of these days to really sit down with it. But I've seen Don Johnson in a lot of other stuff, especially Machete and everything, and a lot of other stuff, so he really nails it here as playing as the the chief of police and everything. So this is, he was great. And then also, it was interesting seeing Anna Sophia Robin this. I haven't really seen her in anything in a long time because I remember her a lot when she was doing kids movies when she used to do movies like uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and that other one when she was a kid uh, at the Reaping and stuff. So it was interesting seeing her in a movie after not seeing her in anything in a long time. Um, she was great. And then on top of that, I really got to really appreciate the, the small setting that it gets through because very similar to a lot of other films that do with this kind of genre. It's great that this one really deals with kind of pushing the stakes up where we're, we're dealing with a lot more of the stuff that deals with uh, the things that can be pretty much all like people in on stuff. And I'll leave it there because it does get into some interesting territory that I find myself engaged with as, a, as the story goes along with pretty much as some things or you think it's trying to lead up to one thing with him trying with... Uh, Aaron Pierce character trying to, you know, get his cousin at bit out of jail, it starts to keep piling up with more stuff along the way that he has to try to really sort out. And the way that it builds upon that I thought was really interesting, especially in the first half. Um, and then on top of that, I really got to appreciate the action scenes in this. While there is not really a whole lot of it compared to what, has, what we got from the trailers, and that is probably a problem with the marketing with it, more the movie itself, when the action is on screen, it is really interesting because not only does this guy really go through the movie with breaking bones and all kinds of stuff, but it shows that Case has a lot of his skills as an actor, and I think that uh, Aaron Peer actually would be a good contender for playing like a future role in like a Green Lantern film as Jon Stewart, because I think that he really not only kind of has the look for him from the comics, but also I, the, the physical prowess that he has for it really captures a lot too. I, I think he really has it as well, and so that though was great, and then on top of the the score was very intense from a lot of scenes, the way it's building up and everything. Now, if I had to get any of my, in my cons, I will have to say that one of the things I do kind of had some issues with was the do movie does kind of run a little too long to where it, I think it could have really turned out about 20 or 30 minutes that did feel like it was kind of dragging along because after get, after the first half, it did feel like we were getting into some stuff that kind of really was just dragging the plot along. And there, while it doesn't overdo itself exposition, it did seem like it was kind of really building stuff up more and more to a point where we're getting to a climax that while it is really well choreographed and it is well executed the way it does with its, it's it's decently edited the way it does with the action scenes and stuff especially not going to spoil anything but there's something that involves with a uh, fire with a uh, 
police iron and everything. I just felt like there's more they really could have added on to it to really spice up the, to really help with the pacing in that regard. Because throughout the movie, we really don't really see much action happening. And so there's more to it that they really could have spent more on with that. Um, like really kind of, like I, I feel like they, they really could have added more action throughout the movie to really spice things up. And on top of that, I was also not really big on the ending. I thought, I thought it was kind of abrupt the way it just kind of ended at things. And it almost like we didn't really get much of a epilogue or anything to really showcase what happened because it just kind of just went like that. I know that was the intent that they were kind of going for was, was just, you know, leaving things just kind of like on a more like kind of thinking level, so to speak. So I'll give them, I, I do see what they were going for, but it would have been nice to at least get something that kind of really end things a proper way instead of just end it abruptly. You know what I mean? And so that was, there was that. And like, other than those minor cons, I still had a really good time with this movie. And I think that it definitely showcases a lot of the talents involved, especially with Aaron Peer, Don Johnson, and a really good uh, direction, the way that the the way that the story unfolds with this. And while it does come across as kind of uh, First Blood light to its time, I did feel like it, it took itself in a good direction with being able to showcase that this is a different type of guy that's trying to outsmart his way into a lot of things. But with that being said, I still thought the movie was it was a good... I still thought it was good. It just I felt like it just could have been a lot more great on a lot of other stuff. They could have really uh, explored with. But with that, I'm going to give the movie a compelling grade on the Film Freaks meter. And so... For those of you who have also seen Rebel Ridge, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next review. I'll see you later.